hey what's up everybody dj king vic here right now uh so i got my music festival on uh next sunday so seven days today is sunday so in seven days i got the music festival i'm getting prepared with the cdl 12 piece uh right now i'm practicing hanging them uh i thought it would be a two-man job but one person can can hang these by themselves let me show you guys what i got done all right so this is actually the exact equipment i would be using to hang these uh so the the actual fly bar i wasn't able to order it uh two of them cost about twelve hundred dollars i wasn't able to order it so i got a local welder to actually just make me a fly bar uh he does he does a lot of work for people here in town he's actually the one that uh helped help with my stage uh my mobile stage some of you guys may have seen that mobile stage let me go ahead and get some footage of it now so you guys you know so my welder he he does a lot he added this you know this is a uh, had these hinges like this entire thing kind of like folds out over on uh fold over added the stabilizers uh added my safety chains so he do a lot of work uh a lot of the people who cut yards and stuff they use him for like the uh to spruce up their trailers and stuff so yeah my welder that done this actually made the fly bar for me all right so this fly bar is actually with some of the metal that i had left over in his shop yeah so this was left over in his shop from what he uh when he worked on my trailer i can show you guys that now also so that what i just showed you is this yeah we had uh had a couple of pieces that were about two feet long and he cut it down to size this is actually 20 inches across and all i had told him i said look man i just need something that i can put this pin in and that this can go in and he, was, he found we found that and i was like all right look just cut out the bottom if you can see he cut out the there we go cut out that little bottom part right there squeeze it in put the holes in and then he welded that and i was like uh give me a couple of holes because i might have to angle it a little bit so he put that little t lever or whatever you want to call it so i'm gonna be able to angle it this isn't what i would be hanging these with uh this is rated though for about uh 1300 pounds and this array is about 205 pounds uh but i'm going to home depot to get like a a shackle hook or whatever you call those things but yeah he, he did the job man and so i was able to do this with just a one one person this is a a one and a half ton horse or one ton horse and yeah uh and then these are these stands are rated at 200 pounds each so and I'm only lifting about 205 pounds, so that's gonna be good. They go up another about four feet. That's the only thing. I'm gonna have to get some taller, uh, taller things right there, or figure out a way to get this higher because that's about two feet right there of just hoist from speaker to the actual truss that's about a two feet different so i want to i want to figure something out instead of getting you know some more 500 hundred dollar stands a piece that goes up to 14 feet these go up to 10 feet but i got some stands that go up to 14 feet so yeah i need to figure something out to where i can hoist it i don't know but I want to get these speakers higher because that's just a lot of dead space, if you get what I'm saying. 
uh, I probably can wrap this strap differently to where this hook is like up there. That'll give me six inches or so. Of course, this is gonna be like an inch smaller. Uh, that's, that's gonna be about all that I can do. Any ideas, please let me know. Any different ideas or methods to uh, get these things up. I should have done this outside so that I can raise these suckers all the way up. But I didn't, so get what we get, you know? But do know, I do have about four more feet high that these can go. So one, two, three. So the bottom one would be about here. And that's only chest level. So I got to get these way higher. Uh, anything else I need to show you guys? Um, yeah, pretty much I... I did this by myself. So it's actually pretty easy. It looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, clip it in, clip it in, and then clip it in. But yeah, I only did this just to see if, uh, if this was you know, it was on the hose. So I'm gonna leave it this way for the next three days or so, just just to see. But yeah, all right, that's it. So yeah, I did promise you guys some footage where those were being flown. So I will be able to get that for you in seven days. Uh, I don't know exactly how fast it'll be for me to upload that the video. But yeah, in, in seven days, I have uh, some footage for you guys of the CDL 12Ps being flown. I know we've seen them uh, just on poles or stacked on poles, but there aren't many videos. I think I've seen only one video and that was like in a church of them being flown, but it didn't go into detail or anything. So I'll be able to give you guys footage of three on each side, CDL 12Ps being flown, live sound, it's a music festival. Uh, we got five bands, so it'll be great. It's funk, blues, soul, R&B, stuff like that, of that nature. And, yeah, and my first music festival, like I said, we had over 500 people. Uh, and I only promoted that in three weeks. So this next one, uh, we got, we had two and a half months to promote it. And it's been on the radios. I had more uh social media ads going to have more uh flyers and banners and stuff we were on two featured on two radio stations this time last time we weren't featured on any uh radio stations so yeah this one's going to be big hoping for at least a, a thousand people and some good footage for you guys all right i got an event in like three hours i'm about to take it out i will be buying the actual fly bar just so you guys know the fly bar that my welder made that's just temporary uh probably only do like one or two shows with those uh probably only just this one but we'll be buying the actual fly bar uh the ones that are six hundred dollars a piece so that's twelve hundred dollars and i also will be buying at least two more of the CDL 12 piece because I want to at least have four on each side when I do like the the big my well what I consider my big uh events and shows anything that's gonna be you know between uh 800 to 2,000 people like I want to be able to yeah do all of that so in the near future I'm pretty sure to be this year 
I will be getting two more CDL 12 ps and the two fly bars. And so that'll be like 275-ish pounds. And my uh, trusting system can do 400 pounds. So I'm good there. I'm good there. So, all right. Well, yeah, that's, that's about it. Peace.